And this does kind of like the things that nobody else can really do or or can even pay for. So they have critical facilities. It's a campus environment. This study looked at the capital investments, which includes operation and maintenance that goes into those facilities and conclusively documented that underfunding those facility assets have directly impacted the mission at NIST, which is mission critical to the U.S. Uh, NIST provides uh, standards of technology and, and particularly standards of measurement. Facilities are important. We know that, but it gets into the business case analysis of how that uh, underfunding uh, has direct impact. The second study uh, is a is kind of a parallel study shows how uh, the methodologies that we use to do uh, operational maintenance, planning, uh, master planning, um, basically add up to a very good statement of requirement. The method of how to do that is really a fundamental asset management um, solution. And asset management isn't just about managing the assets. It's, it's about managing the value that's generated by the assets. That relationship is critical to decision-making. The asset obviously is a building, but it's also the throughput and capability of what that building is supporting. So if it's a medical clinic, for example, how many patients can you uh, move through that building and how long does that take? You know, the, uh, the doctors can explain to you what they need. The, the executive is gonna be looking at that building as an asset in terms of the ability to serve or, or treat people. So the, so the asset itself is uh, understood differently at different levels of the decision-making. And that's where the asset management system or the perspective of asset management, I think really adds value and makes the information that we're looking at here even more relevant.